Your question. A member from the P and Carlton. Thank you very much, uh, Speaker. Appreciate the opportunity uh, to question the Premier today. Last summer, your government handed over hiring rights in our schools to the provincial unions. As a result of Bill 115, we said we would support the bill, but we demanded that the hiring Order. provision be stricken. The government said they would do that, but after the bill passed, they put in a snuck in a regulation 274 12 to appease their union friends. Now, predictably, school boards and teachers are opposed to this, and that's why our party put forward an opposition day motion to rescind regulation 274. The government opposed that. But now the metal is hitting the floor, Premier and school boards are concerned about next year. So how is your government going to address the drastic decline of the quality Order. of teaching in our classrooms as a result Question. of your hiring policies? And why aren't you committed to putting the best teacher in the room, not the teacher that has the most seniority? Premier. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. So I know that the Minister of Education is going to want to speak to the specifics of that, uh, that discussion with the unions. But let me just say, Mr. Speaker, I am so pleased that in the time that we have been uh, in office, that I have been in this office, Mr. Speaker, that we have been able to begin to re-establish the positive working relationship with the education sector, with the teachers, with the support staff, with our school boards, Mr. Speaker, because that relationship, I believe, is fundamental to the achievement, the success of our students in this province. I do not expect the member opposite, Mr. Speaker, to value that relationship. That has not been a cornerstone of their, uh, their practice in this House, Mr. Speaker, or when they were government. It is ours. We believe Answer. in that relationship. We believe that it's important that publicly funded education work, works best when government and the education sector are Thank working you. together, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary. Speaker, look at this caucus. We are, most of us have kids in the school system. We value quality education. I know I speak for all of my colleagues who actually have kids in the classrooms. But let me read from three teachers who wrote to the Premier and myself. I want to hear both the question and the answer. Please continue. Let me read from three teachers who wrote to me and to the Premier. Kay Carrie from the Upper Garen District says, I was hired based on merit, but with the implementation of Regulation 274, I'm being denied an opportunity to work within a school community that I love. Sam from the Ottawa Catholic School Board wrote to me and the Premier and said, Regulation 274 is destroying the concept of merit, and if it was really about putting students first, let's give them the best and rescind Regulation 274. And Chris, who wrote to me from Guelph, was very disappointed that the the Minister of Education, his own MPP, refuses to meet with him and other teachers in this situation, writes, I am afraid the regulation is Question. going to force me to leave the teaching profession. Premier, will you listen to Kerry, will you listen to Sam, and will you listen to Chris and put the best teachers back in the classroom and receive Thank 274 you. and stop putting you Thank in your You see it, please? You see it, please? Thank you. Premier? Of education. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, I think it's important to understand that, in fact, Reg 274, although it does look at past experience and issues like uh, seniority, is actually there to make sure that young teachers have an opportunity to get jobs. And we want to make sure that we're not looking only at seniority, but and we're not looking at uh, family relationships and things like that, that we actually are giving young teachers an opportunity to apply for jobs. We want to make sure that they're posted so that they even know when there is a a job available. And boards still have the ability to make uh, the ultimate hiring decisions. But Answer. I think we need a bit of an update here on Reg 274. In fact, as we speak, there is a working table between OSSTF and the public boards Thank you. looking at can they agree on modifications. Thank you. 
If the minister were reading her correspondence, as I most certainly am, she would realize that it's young teachers who are writing in to her and I. If she would meet with her own constituents about this, she would recognize that this is a big problem. And if she were to talk about boards, she would know that the Toronto District School Board last evening wanted to address nepotism and to uh, make sure that not only is this bill, this uh, regulation rescinded, but that they are actually part of the process. They want to actually eliminate that through conflict of interest so that this would be redundant. But let me talk about Leslie from Toronto. She says it won't matter that the school students already know and love the sixth most senior or the 60th most senior applicant or that none of the five most senior applicants is interested in doing co-curricular activities or that a newly graduated teacher speaks a language Question. of 70 percent of the school's parents. The Toronto District School Board last night adopted her approach, Leslie's approach. They know as well as I do, and that what Leslie knows is that Regulation 274 isn't about the best teacher in our classroom. Thank you. And I will say this. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Minister? Yes, thank you. And I'm sorry, I don't think that the member opposite heard what I said about a working group looking exactly at some of the issues that have been raised by the teachers and uh, the individual teachers and by school boards and, quite frankly, by the union, because we have been working with our teachers, with our unions, and we have been working with our school boards. And one of the things that we agreed to was to set up a working time able to explicitly look at the right uh, the member from Renfrew I want to hear the answer carry on so we have we have working together as I speak we have a working group that's been set up between OSSTF and the public school boards looking at are there changes which they want to make to the regulation because we Answer. believe that the best way to get a resolution for this issue is for us all to sit down and work together and come up with a sensible Thank solution you. that solves everybody's needs.